Have you ever wondered how the record player works? Well, today we will make our own homemade record player of science. The record player started as a machine called a phonograph in the year 1877. It was invented by Thomas Edison right here in New Jersey. Well, Edison's invention later moved to something called the gramophone and then to the record player. If you start a record player, as I'm doing right now, a disc will spin and you will place the needle on the record and the needle will hit little bumps. This old record player from the early 1900s does not have a needle in it. But if it did, the needle would vibrate on these tiny little bumps that are built into the record. And you can see these little lines here. And these lines help the record move along. And when the needle hits them, it causes a small vibration. That vibration then goes to a speaker, which is built into the record player over here. And that's how a record player works. Well, today we're going to, to show you how to make a record player with some simple items from home. All right, so now we're going to build our, our record player. And the first thing we're going to make is a speaker for it. So we're going to take any piece of construction paper that you have. This happens to be one of those dividers that go in a notebook. And I'm gonna start in the corner by rolling it into a cone and I'm going to roll it and I'm going to tape it just like this. Any kind of tape will work, scotch tape, uh, masking tape, and this is our amplifier. When I talk into here like this, it makes sound a little bit louder. So that's what it's going to do to the sound of the needle hitting the vibrations on the record, or the uh, grooves on the record. So I'm going to take my needle. Any needle will work. Uh, you need to know that the needle that we're, we're probably going to use here is not the same size as the needle that would go on the on a regular record, so it would probably scratch the record. So this experiment, while it says make and take, and it is something you're going to make, um, I don't think I would use it for your, your best record collection. We want to use it for an old record that, that nobody listens to anymore or that you're not interested in anymore. Um, so I'm going to take another piece of tape here, and I'm going to tape the needle to the outside of the cone, but not over the little hole. I'm going to keep the little hole open. So that's our record player. Isn't it interesting? Well, let's see if it works. Okay, so here is our record player working, and in will come the homemade record player. Now, you should also know that we are using... MC Hammer from the 1980s. Here we go. So we're going to take the needle and we're going to place it on the record. We're going to have sound coming out the end of the paper. And on this record player, we're also going to have the sound coming out the speakers. There you go, a homemade record player. I know what some of you are thinking, but I don't have a record player to do this on. Well, we're gonna show you how to do that next. You don't have a record player at home, but you probably have a pencil. So the next step is to get a pencil. And with your pencil, you're going to 
push it through the hole in the record and probably put a little bit of tape at the bottom of it over here and that will kind of make it like a top. And to make your record player play, you're just going to spin the top. So you're gonna spin with one hand and hold your record with the other. Getting it to the right speed is the problem. Different records came with different speeds that they played at. It is So there you go, a homemade record player.